Hello guys, welcome back to another video. This time, as promised, I said I'll be giving you guys a tier list about the heroes I think that in patch 7.27c slash b would be the best heroes to spam or get used to playing if you want to get that free free plus 3 or even a rank plus 20 mmr and just kind of bit of ranked out guys let's get straight into it mid is use squab necro void ember spirit razor zeus has seen a re rescale to his ulti doing more damage with an increased cooldown but basically all of his spots doing a lot more damage and he is a lane bully with a high map presence very strong Quap has seen a bit of a nerf, but she is still a very, very strong mid laner due to her e. her dagger doing a lot of damage, slow, and her ulti doing pure damage. Necro has always been a good hero. He has high sustain, high damage, and a very impactful ultimate. Void Spirit didn't see a lot of changes in this patch. He only has an increased cooldown in his Ag's ulti, uh, Ag's resonant pulse, which is an it's a two second cooldown but he is also very much a single target hero that can get in and out of fights very quickly very hard to deal with same goes with ember he is flame god got a bit of a nerf but he still remains to be a very very strong hero razor has seen a nerf to his ultimate but an increase in his passive and a increase in the static link so right now those lane dominators are really good for the safe lane, I recommend Drow, Sven, Phantom Lancer, Phaetus, Void, Clinks, and Luna. Drow, because her talents have been reworked um, to a 50% Gust Blind, which is very strong. Early game, especially at level 10. Her damage has been rescaled, and she's she's also very good versus tank heroes and most melee heroes. Sven's cleave has been redone. He has a very high lane presence at the moment now if he gets... Um, bullied, he goes straight into jungle with Midas and goes Holbird, Sanjanyasha. So his build is pretty standard, pretty easy to use, and um, has a high team fight presence as well. Phantom Lancers always been good. It buffs a little bit of his damage in the with his Phantom Lance, but other than that, he's just a very annoying hero to play against and requires a lot of your team to kill him. Faces Void has seen a rework with his ags a rework of aoe so he's bored at the moment would be battle fury ags so it makes him a very very strong team fighter to lock down any people clinks has returned to the old op clinks and if you refer back to my patch channel you'll see why his new burning army ags or his strafe or his you name it has been buffed i don't know why but he does excessive amount of damage, has really high move speed, very high lane presence, and also becomes very tanky late on in game. Luna's passive has been buffed, her moon glaives and her Luna blessing has been increased, which makes her a very quick farmer and very quick tower pusher. Let's go straight into the off lanes. Off lanes is Broommaster Centaur, Underlord Legion, Darkseer Sanking. Broommaster has seen a buff to his Cinder Brew, to his Primal Split and has has increased his backswing animations so he attacks a lot faster in essence centaur's retaliate has been redone where it doesn't give an active anymore but gives strength bonus damage as a percentage back so late game he's very strong and even early game versus the right heroes um can cause a lot of havoc underlords usher free aura firestorm and pit of malice has all been buffed and is a lane dominator and a huge team fight presence. LC has always just been remained a very much of a lane bully and 10, 9 out of 10 wins most lanes and is very very strong. Darkseer has seen an increase in his vacuum and wall of replica which makes him an effective team fight at the moment and a better jungler than he used to be to team being able to stack camps and take them efficiently with his iron shell. Sand King has become a walking time bomb with his caustic finale in melee hero matchups. He basically does max health percentage, damage health caustic finale, 
and has a very very big AOE radius so he's a very very threatening laner to be against at the moment soft supports win run is really good to zone out enemy carries um, and pause fives due to her win run just being very annoying to deal with early in the game as most pause fives or pause ones won't have or want to use their lockdown on a pause four so early cm um, just recently didn't have that big of a change but it's just really really strong at the moment and i've seen a lot of pro teams running cm4 at the moment like on online ranked games and she dominates the lane very well bounty hunter the same he steals gold he gets track gold for on for his team and for himself and allows him to get those big early items like greave solo crest pipe for his team really early and hence why i put him in the tier list Urspread has seen a, a l buffs and he is a very good roamer if he has a good team fight abilities so very i'm very much liking Urspread in the post four role right now same with inch inch can dominate and zone out the enemy offlane and pause four with just herself with impetus and with a jungle creep so very strong venom monsters tick damage on his poison sting his gale and his nether wards his plague wards have all been buffed so it becomes very annoying to lane against hard supports Jakiro, disruptor lich ogre warlock and engine apparition Jakiro remains super strong due to his liquid fire his tower pushing ability and lane abusing ability same with disruptor very good team fight and very high harass in lane with his thunder strike lich as well has very good team fight abilities doesn't see much reworks or buffs or nerfs in this new patch but remains a good hero ogre magi is up in there because of the hand of mita change that's not a lot of gold change but Due to the nature of Ogre Magi with multicast, it does really pay off for itself very quickly. Warlock has seen a resurgence due to the safe laners needing to stay in the lane as much as possible to farm as much as possible. Um, Warlock is basically just a walking self or all heroes at the moment, hence why I put Warlock in here. Engine Apparition has seen a buff to his chilling touch, he is called Vortex and becomes a very much an, uh, an uh, annoying person to lane against and late game with his ultimate doing huge damage and chilling touch chunking your supports and you even depending on what role you're playing becomes a very difficult hero to play against but that's it for this video guys if you guys enjoy this quick little video about the heroes that i think are going to going to be be used this meta and abuse this meta um, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys have any feedback for me, any whatever, or you guys want to see certain things, let me know. You guys can catch me on my streams. I stream Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, and I do surprise streams every, every now and then on the weekends. But that's it for now, guys. Just love you guys lots, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.